Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my first video of 2021. Um, I know I'm kind of late with this video, my 2021 bullet journal setup, also January setup, but I kind of kept forgetting to order a new journal, and then I got really busy with school, so then I couldn't- I didn't have much time to film, but I finally did it, I finally caught up, hence the title, Catch Up With Me. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is just me setting up my journal, um, I already decorated the cover and the first page, I don't know if you guys caught that in the beginning, I got too excited the day that my journal came and I decorated it. So I used some of my TXT album stickers because I had some extras, as well as that strawberry Yoongi picture because we love strawberry Yoongi. <laughs> so for this year's journal, I kept a lot of the same pages, but also included some new ones and changed some things up a bit. Um, as you can see on the left side, we have Hello 2021, and then on the right side is 2021 at a glance. Um, I usually use the at a glance page just to like see the year at a glance. <laughs> right here, I actually messed up for April, May, and June. I accidentally looked at the 2020 calendar for the dates. See, here's me realizing it, and then kind of freaking out and trying to trying to think of what to do uh, to fix it. I ended up just using a piece of scrap paper and redoing it on that and then gluing it on top. Is it really one of my journal videos if I don't mess up because I'm pretty sure I've messed up in every single journal setup video that I've put out here. <laughs> I try not to be too hard on myself with my journal because it's just for fun, it's just not that serious, it's not the end of the world, it's just a journal at the end of the day. <laughs> Here's me fixing it. Um, as you can see, I went with this blue and green teal, I don't know, this blue and teal um, theme for my setup. I really liked it, and then I added some little sparkles with my black pen as well as some washi tape because washi tape is very fun and I have so many and I always forget to use it in my journals. So yeah, I'm trying to make- trying to get more use out of them. <laughs> and so since this is a catch up with me video, I'll use some of this time to kind of update you guys on how I've been, what I've been up to, um, what's been happening in my life. Nothing much really, but <laughs> um, my year started off pretty good, I think, and then school started and all of my teachers gave us so many projects, so many assignments that were all literally due like the same week. I almost died, but I made it. I survived. Um, what else? I- oh, oh my gosh, I also developed a, a photo card addiction. Um, no one told me that it was this easy to buy and collect photo cards because it's way too easy for me to spend money on these pieces of cardboard and then for me to go literally crazy over them. It's a problem, I need to stop. <laughs> yeah, I'm currently trying to collect um, and hype in Jake and Nikki's photo cards because their cards are so cute. Also, it doesn't help that I double bias and I want all of their stuff. As you can see, I did a little future log. Um, this is where I just write important dates, mainly birthdays and random events because I tend to forget a lot. <laughs> so I just write them down here. In my old journal, I used to draw like a mini calendar in like each month's box, but I decided to get rid of it to save space because I realized that it took up a lot of space in that little box and I didn't have much space to write uh, the events and birthdays, so I took it out. And then here, I just have a page for my goals for the year. Um, I divided it into four sections, personal, school, my shop, and YouTube. 
In my 2020 journal, I only had a personal and a school section, but this year I decided to add sections for my shop and YouTube because I really want to grow myself creatively and set goals for myself because there are a lot of things that I want to achieve. And so yeah, it's nice to set goals for yourself. <laughs> and then on the next page, I did a 2021 playlist. I also did this in my other journal, essentially for each month i'll just write down kind of like the song of the month or like the song that defined my month basically the song that i had on repeat that month and i know it doesn't show up that well on camera but i can promise you you can see the months i don't know why the camera's not picking it up like the other pages i added some more washi tape and little sparkles um for these next two pages i kind of used them as like a brain dump page um, for both my shop and my YouTube channel because like I said there are a lot of things that I want to um, do to like expand myself and grow creatively um, I want to do a lot with my shop um, I want to put out new products new designs and so yeah that's just a space for me to put down all my ideas and same with um, YouTube video ideas because I want to try out new things. Um, this next page, I saw this idea on Pinterest last year, and I had it in my journal last year. It's essentially just this page where you um, draw all of your themes for the year, and so each box, you just draw what your theme was for that month, and it's really nice to just look back on um, at the end of the year to see um, all of your themes on one page and that's it for the beginning 2021 stuff and now we are on to january so for january theme i went with these clouds i i feel like it was kind of inspired by um one of my sticker designs which if you don't follow my instagram then you wouldn't know about this new design that i put out that design had some clouds and i thought it was really cute so i incorporated it into my journal and like my past setups i kept the same calendar layout except this time i accidentally made it one box too large too tall i don't know i added an extra box so i just made the header um two boxes tall where i wrote the days of the week also this time i included a little box to track my growth um for both my Instagram and my YouTube because I always find it fun to see how much I grow. Um, not that I'm like obsessed with like numbers or anything. No, I'm not like that. But I just like to see how much I grow over the year, over the month. So yeah, it's just fun to keep track of your growth. Also, I don't know why, but my camera started slipping. Um, and so you can see my computer stand right there in the corner so please ignore that i always try to prevent that from happening but i guess this time i didn't realize it anyways um i added some more clouds to continue that cloud theme i really love um this theme it's really dreamy is that the right word i don't know it's very dreamy and calming i just like it i also love the colors the purple and the yellow And now we have a new addition. So we know that um, I used to put my habit trackers on the same page as my brain dump because I didn't really see a need in me dedicating a whole page to them because I did not have much to track. But this time I decided to split. Also, I don't know why my camera stopped recording when I was doing that page, but you can see I split the page between habit trackers and a January playlist. So my tracker is um, create, drive, and I added post because I want to post more often and more consistently on my Instagram and YouTube. And for drive, it is my goal this year to get my driver's license. Also, I kind of have to because college, but yeah. And then the other side of the page was just a playlist for the month where I'll just write down songs that I've been listening to throughout the month. 
I've really been listening to a lot of The Boys, and I don't know why it took me this long to finally listen to their music, but I love it so much. I love The Stealer and No Air. Those songs are so good. And then also, I've been getting into P1 Harmony finally. Um, I think my bias is Jiang. I love him. But also, Kiho is iconic. And with that weekly spread to finish up this setup, we've now reached the final flip through. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me set up my journal. Hopefully you guys got some inspiration, or at least enjoyed listening to me talk. Um, I'm sorry that this video um, came up kind of late, um, even though I know I said that I wanted to post more consistently and more often at starting now. <laughs> I have some new video ideas. Uh, so please expect that soon. Stay tuned for more content, guys. Also, I'm planning on having a shop update soon, probably in February. Hopefully, if I can finish up my designs and uh, get them produced. So stay tuned for that for more updates. Check out my Instagram. Don't forget to check out my shop. I have some super cute stickers. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!